Hi everybody. So uh, this week I was going to try out something new. I uh, got this old uh, netbook that belongs to my uh, father. And, um, you know, it's been sitting in a corner collecting dust ever since he got an iPad. So uh, I thought I'd uh, surprise him and uh, install Ubuntu on this thing to uh, show him that uh, older, low-powered um, hardware can still be uh, far more functional than the day he bought it when it um, had Windows 7 installed. So let me give you a quick uh, look around of what comes with Lubuntu. Um, I'm currently running this on a Toshiba NB505, which is um, this 1.6 gigahertz uh, dual core, 64-bit dual core processor. Um, and it was uh, developed back in uh, 2010. I think it was released in the second quarter by Intel. So, you know, Abby Word comes comes with it. Uh, I added GNU Cache because he wanted some financial software. Audacious, um, no media player. GUVC View, although uh, the footage you see there is actually coming from um, a uh, M player. Plenty of uh, information here in um, preferences, so you can customize the look and feel, but uh, um, Ubuntu's already got a nice flat looking interface. I wouldn't mind uh, getting rid of the uh, slight gradient that you have here at the uh, title bar. Um, nice muted blue uh, design. Uh, Chromium web browser comes pre-installed. I haven't even bothered to install Firefox yet. Probably won't even uh, bother. A bunch of uh, tiny uh, lin low resource Linux games. I've never actually played this. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see, how do I quit? How do I quit you? I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, interesting. Close window. So you can see that uh, in the day of uh, tablets, uh, netbooks have pretty much uh, fallen out of the market, and a lot of that's due to the uh, lack of. Uh, high profit margins. I mean, with um, with tablets, you have a certain amount of vendor lock-in. So if you pick yourself up a, uh, a Samsung uh, tablet, phablet, or phone, um, you usually, you might have a, a Samsung marketplace. I've heard stories that there is a Samsung marketplace, although I haven't used it. I have a rather old Samsung phone. Um, the, uh, you know, Google has its own um, Play Store, where you could download content. And of course, some of those profits go back to Google. Whereas with these netbooks, you'd have uh, Windows 7 Starter Edition, and um, really no stores uh, to to speak of. Um, you know, you just use the laptop like you would any other um, computer, and uh, there's just no uh, embedded store. I mean, Ubuntu itself has one, but as uh, if you follow the uh, statistics on omgubuntu.co.uk, uh, you'll find that their top-selling apps every month uh, really only sell uh, maybe a hundred or a couple hundred uh, copies, and that makes it in the top ten list, which is really uh, kind of sad, actually. Although I do like uh, downloading uh, e-magazines off of it. So, uh, you know, it's not just the uh, tablets and, and mobile phones that killed the netbook, but is uh, the, the vendor lock-in and the profit margins and uh, the ability for the um, companies producing the hardware um, to uh, share revenue with uh, the embedded store. Uh, Chromebooks largely took over the netbook market, and of course, um, Acer and HP... I'm not sure if they share any of the revenue from the uh, from the Chrome store, if there is any revenue. Um, but that is possibly the case with, say, the uh, Nexus 7 tablet. So anyway, as you can see, the uh, the frames per second on this thing is extremely low, although um, 
what you won't be able to see is that the uh, webcam playback is actually really decent. It's just trying to grab, um, you know, 30 frames per second on uh, a dual core processor just isn't going to happen. Uh, what I'm really impressed here is that this thing is maxed out at uh, 2 gigs of RAM. And you can see that I'm still only using about 40%. Um, I've been, and I've got, I gave myself a liberal amount of swap space of uh, 2 gigs. Um, and uh, it hasn't touched it. So anyway, uh, if you want to uh, save your old aging netbook from a uh, parent, uh, a brother, a sister, a sibling, from the landfill, I'd suggest uh, installing Lubuntu, installing um, maybe CrunchBang, uh, which is open box uh, based. You could always go with uh, Manjaro Linux. And uh, do yourself a favor, you know, um, keep your uh, systems running and out of the uh, landfill so that you can uh, make use of them, even if it's just going to be a research device or, um, you know, uh, a basic. Uh, Use um, I don't know. It's cool, and 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 um, a last note: when I uh, booted this thing up, I it actually I actually laughed at how long Windows Seven Starter Edition uh, takes to boot on a device that's supposed to be built for netbooks. I mean, they've if if there was a list of how many things they've done wrong with a low power uh, device, they did it. I mean, Starter Edition looked just like Windows 7, which is fine. But do you really need to do all of the uh, graphics effects when you are using a old uh, uh, onboard graphics that shares resources with the, uh, the system, um, with the CPU? No, not really. I mean, this thing isn't made for gaming, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have something like, like with uh, 3D effects, but when it takes uh, three or four seconds to open up a file manager in Windows 7 it's kind of comical because you know you open it here and um, it's fairly snappy check this out click and uh, I am recording right now using a hundred percent of my process powers and boom there we go got the uh, got everything in my uh, I got it up and I hadn't even opened the file manager yet in this uh, process so I'm sure that now that it's in memory Yep, it boots up, uh, it loads up much faster. So, I mean, being able to do some of your simple, you know, um, web-based work and, and just being able to use a computer um, uh, under low resources, Windows 7 starter was obviously a failure. And then you add all the Toshiba bloatware, which essentially didn't serve any real purpose. Now you can see that pigeon took a little bit while to boot there. Oh, well. Um, you know, and, and what's really ironic is I didn't have to do anything special to get uh, Lubuntu to work. I mean, that's how solid Lubuntu and, and um, Xubuntu are as uh, distributions. They are lightweight. Um, the, the kernel works really well. Um, and uh, updating is a cinch. So I'm going to try to make an attempt to convert my uh, father, who uh, regretfully uh, got interested in Apple products back in the day when I was a huge uh, Apple fanboy, and uh, maybe uh, show him off a little bit of Linux. I think he might actually like this stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next uh, long, overdrawn, boring video. Thanks. Let me find the right tab. To